What up everybody, welcome back to CBTV. I'm excited because today I'm hungry. Alright guys, today we're gonna make Mexican lasagna. I know there's different names for it, such as... Uh, Mexican casserole is one that I hear a lot, so... It's almost like a, a flat enchilada. So it's real easy, here's what you're gonna need. You get some ground beef seasoned to your liking. Uh, enchilada sauce, this is homemade, but you can get a can, you do what you want to do for your enchilada sauce. Some tortillas, and some Mexican blend cheese, because you want it to melt and be ooey nice. gooey. You know what I'm saying? Delicious. Alright guys, so the first step is you're going to put the tortillas in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on your microwave, just to make them a little bit soft. And then, we're going to go ahead and get started. So. Depending on your size of the pan is going to depend on how many tortillas you'll need at the bottom. Since ours is really small, we'll only start off with two at the bottom. And then I'll let Chingo put a meat. And then we do meat. sauce. We do meat and sauce. Mm -hmm. Just even or how do you want? However much you want, baby. I know, but just evenly spread? Yeah. Okay. See you well, I mean, that'd be a not good enchilada right there. Then be greedy with the meat. Boy, it's a lot of Dang, way. boy. More? You okay. definitely don't be a, don't, don't own a restaurant. Okay, well look. Because you're the greedy kind. Look, He's this, the kind that only gives you like three strips of, of fajita in your taco. Look you, at that. You, Nobody wants to eat that. Okay, well look. We're going to make a fat layer, you know. Yeah, échale con ganas. So check it out, y'all. Even though it's multiple layers, you want fat it, layers. This is a little pan, babe. We're only going to okay. do two layers. Let me see your more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at all them blanks. We're making cheeseburgers. Look at all them blanks. Look at all these blanks. All right. All right. All right. So all right. then we'll pour the sauce on it. Ooh, this is my favorite part. Marisol sauce goes Ham. Okay. Guess and what? then we'll put cheese. Let's pile it on. And I'm all about cheese. So, with that being said, okay, so there's a cheese use fanatic. cheese at your discretion because I love me some cheese. Right. And I go like this. I make sure I don't miss not one spot. My soul ain't greedy. Every bite needs to have cheese and meat. Don't you think? Don't you hate when you bite a taco and it's got more pico de gallo than or something? Or, or a tamal with no meat? Yeah, más masa que carne, nombre. Nombre, cayete, shout out. <laughs> All right, so we have our first layer. The first layer. Of tortilla, meat, sauce, cheese. Here comes layer number two. Number two. Meat. You might have to use another one at top. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and. You know, I don't wanna get in trouble, y'all, so I'm gonna make sure. <laughs> you just say this when. This is the last layer, oh, babe, shit. so you know. Okay, so all of them. You just say when. I'm like the dude at Let Olive Garden. The dude at Olive Garden with the Parmesan. I know, when I used to, whenever I used to go, I don't really like that place anymore, but when I used to go. Shots fired. Um. Mm. Shit. This is why he does not cook at home, guys. Well, I was, All right. I was scared you're gonna be like, it ain't enough meat. Here you go. That's his excuse for dropping the bowl That's... in our food. Don't do that at home, guys. Do not do that at home. Make sure you keep the bowl out of the food. Ooh, that's the best part. I wish y'all could smell and taste Marisol's enchilada sauce. You can put this on. Anything, tacos. actually, for real though. I mean like eggs, tacos, I mean you can just put Okay, it on. so I'm gonna need you to heat up another tortilla. I knew it. Probably another two. I knew it, I knew it. I called it, ladies and gentlemen. Just like he dropped it. Same way. So while uh, Chingo preheats the oven real quick, guys, we're just gonna go ahead and pour some of this sauce over these tortillas, the last layer. 400? Sure. It's pretty much cooked, so I mean. So we're just gonna pour a little bit of this over. I wanna save a little bit of the sauce because I didn't make that much. So. Uh, 400 degrees! When I try that bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do like a juvenile reference, and you took it to a whole nother level. All right, so we do that. Put that in that poultice. And then we're gonna top it off with... More 
more cheese! Queremos queso, queso, queso! I wonder if Penny would like this. Oh, she's kind of weird. Oh no, that girl's going through a weird little phase. It's like she used to love meat, and then all of a sudden she just stopped eating it. Well, she's been eating, I know she likes to eat uh, salchichas, like hot dogs. Ew, I don't know why she likes that crap. Because the babysitter gives her. All right, guys, so there you have it. It's stacked, meaty, cheesy, and tasty. Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. Really all you're wanting to do is to let the cheese melt because the meat's already cooked and the tortilla as well, you know, they're corn tortilla. So we're just gonna let it sit in there for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and cut it and let y'all see. Give it a taste test, here we go. Zoom in on that, Joe. Zoom in on that. Get you some of that. Get you some of that. All right, so. We go ahead and cut in. Oh, oh. oh, it's a mukbang now. I didn't know we were doing mukbangs today. Bro. Okay, low key, my mouth is super watery right now. You done? You done no mas. You done no mas. Big squares. It's so it's cafe, she ain't greedy. I am not greedy in my not cafe. not stingy. All right. All right. You ready, babe? Yeah. You know I need that corner piece. Woo! You know I need that corner piece. Woo! So All right. All right, so our camera guy is vegetarian, guys. Just went vegetarian. He just, so saw, he just saw a documentary. And uh, he's missing out on this because he is, his mouth is watering. Oh, yeah. Uh, you've been vegetarian how long, Joe? About a month? Almost a month. Yeah, this would tear your stomach up right yeah, now. Yeah, it will. Because you've All been that vegetarian cheese, man, too meat long. and cheese, yeah, that's... You can't handle it. Alright, so... Moment of truth! Let's see. Mexican lasagna. Let's see. Got a little piece of onion right here. <laughs> Ooh, me too. Let's see if it lives up to the height. Got a little kick to it. Mm. I don't know about you. Sorry, I'm gonna walk up now. I got one. This, this is good during these little lockdowns. These type of casseroles. Mm -hmm. If you are uh, you dodging a hurricane, if you just trying to like cook something big for the family for the Or if you have a big family, period. So you got kids and stuff, yeah. teenagers that are hungry. What is, what is there to eat? What is there? Go get you another slice of that Mexican lasagna. It's good. I'm just trying. To, I'm so hungry. I'm just trying to like process it all. Mm -hmm. So, if you try this at home, make sure you hashtag your video "Cooking with the Bling" so that we can find you and repost you. Yeah. So as you can see, it was a simple recipe, very fast, very quick. You pop it in the oven, pop it out. Um, you mamas that work. You gotta get home and make dinner. It's hearty, you know. You got you got tortillas in there. You got cheese. You got meat, and it has that good little kick from the sauce. So it's convenient. You could, and if you know if we wanted to, you know we're going out of town tomorrow. But if we wanted to, we could have made you know the big the big joint. Well, we did that one time. We we ate it for a few days. <laughs> I didn't get tired of it. Either. Yeah. So. So there you have it. Not a lot of ingredients. It was pretty simple. We whipped it up quick. And um, if y'all want more quick recipes, let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you soon. But and right now, it's don't the forget, hit the little bell so that you know the next time CBTV drops a video. Thank stay, you guys. Stay notified. Thank you for watching. Peace.